Welcome to Beyond Protocol Tutorials by Devros. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how component noise negatively affects the performance of a prototype, and I will be showing you a few alloying techniques in order to get those perfect zero noise alloys. For comparison, I shall be showing you a few different versions of the light fighter we designed earlier in this series. First of all, welcome back, and now let's take a look at some light fighters that I have created, each using um, different properties. One I made parts using nothing but a mineral called potterine. The next one is the one that we actually designed a while back, which has a bunch of component noise because we didn't use proper alloys. And then the third one is going to be a proper alloyed light fighter. and you will be able to see the difference in the performance between the three due to component noise. First of all, let's go here to our prototypes and here you can see our light fighters. Now here's the first one that we created a while back. Now when you uh, create a uh, design, here you can take a look at your results and you can see here that our targeting, targeting accuracy and our visual range is 4848. But we know that our beginning radar and our weapon go out to 50, so we are obviously losing some here. Now these weren't perfect alloys, but they were very close, so it's not that bad. However, if you go and take a look in, at something that was made out of nothing but pure potterine, you can definitely see a huge difference. We're looking at a targeting accuracy of 47 and a visual radar range of 46. Our maneuver has dropped from 30 down to 27. So this is a very inefficient light fighter that we have created just using nothing but minerals. Now if we come down here, I have created a perfectly alloyed light fighter and the only thing that we have lost in this one is a little bit of targeting accuracy and that is because there is a property inside of armor that likes to mess with uh, targeting accuracy but that property is required for most armors so anytime you put an armor on your fighters, buildings, anything like that it's going to always take a small hit to your uh, accuracy. I've tried many ways to get rid of it, I have not. If anybody does find out a way, I would love to hear it. But one way you can uh, see that is if we come in here and take off our armor completely and redesign it. Research complete. Here you can see that it is back up to 50. That is the easiest way to find out what specific part or component is causing noise is to just remove it, replace it with something else, and look for the changes. Only do one at a time, that way you know what it is that made your uh, made the difference. So let's go ahead and uh, just put that back. Research complete. Now our engine was not perfect before. If you come here to our light fighter engine before, you can see that here I just used the same alloys that I used before um, with the facility engine, but they do not have the proper properties. But if you look at the new ones that I created, they are perfect across the board. You can see that here in version 2. And then with our with the potterine one, I, I just use straight up potterine for everything. Now, there is one uh, set of alloys that I did not perfect. They didn't cause any issues, but I do want to show you how to uh, fix them. 
we got our projectile and if you look at some of our properties here we have an alloy our casing has a bunch of these unwanted properties here that we don't want it has everything that we do need but it has a bunch of other stuff that we don't and this is the kind of this is right here what causes noise it's not just having too much or not enough of a desired but it's having extra stuff in there as well so I'm going to show you a quick little trick on how you can try and remove these it doesn't work for everything but it works for something so it's worth knowing so first of all let's go into our alloys here and we got our casing right here you can see this has all these pr problems and properties here so what we're going to do is we're going to remove everything and we're actually going to add this alloy to this alloy I know that sounds weird but just watch now we have added the alloy that this is made out of and we're gonna label this uh, version 1.1 but in order to get rid of this what we're gonna do is we're going to actually use the our alloy that had absolute our uh, our armor alloy that had absolutely zero properties I usually recreate a whole nother alloy that um, uses the same minerals and properties our armor does but I'm just using this alloy right now because it has exactly what we need but I would normally create another alloy that's exactly like it. I pretty much just redesign this one and give it a different name doing that um, is actually much better I know it uh, makes it a pain to have even more alloys but the more alloys that you have for each specific uh, application the more efficiently your uh, empire will run but for now let's just uh, pop that in there and hit redesign research complete now we come in here and take a look and you will notice all of those extra properties are gone you have no residual properties in here to create noise so we're going to go research ahead and research initiated. that and I'm going to show you another nice little thing research complete. because this requires an alloy to create the alloy when you come here to your or when you uh, build and you select that production initiated oh sorry that was the wrong one production initiated As you see here it will actually create the alloys that it needs in order to make the alloy and there we have we have just created out al an alloy out of alloys and that is a uh, one nice little trick to getting perfect alloys well I hope this has been helpful uh, any questions or comments please leave it down below and good luck out there